Today I'm going to explain how Cadillac electric vehicle owners can access and charge their EVs at Tesla superchargers. And that's because just recently, the Tesla supercharger network has opened up to electric vehicles of other makes. And General Motors vehicles was one of the first to gain access to the Tesla supercharger network. But it's a little different than when you take your EV to other charging stations, say from Electrify America, EVGo, IANA, or whatever network that you may have used before. And that's because the Cadillac electric vehicles use the J1772 connector for home charging, which is this guy right here, and the CCS1 connector for DC fast charging, and that's this connector right here. However, Tesla superchargers use a Tesla plug that had been proprietary until just about a year or two ago, and that's this connector here. And this is what's on Tesla superchargers. The problem is the inlet on your Cadillac electric vehicle was engineered to accept this plug. A Little bit of a difference there. So you need an adapter. And Cadillac will sell you the adapter for $225. You can buy it online and they actually have two different types but they do the same thing. These are the two adapters that you can get from Cadillac. Uh, you order it online or at your dealership and you can't order one or the other. You order it and then you get one or the other. You don't get to choose which one. This one's made by Tesla. This one here is co-engineered by General Motors and Lectron, an adapter and electric vehicle charging equipment manufacturer. So they both do the same thing. They're rated for the same thing. It doesn't matter which one you have. They both work just fine. So if you'd like to use the Tesla Supercharger Network, you need to buy one of these. But there's other things you need to do. And that's what we're going to go over here today. So let's get into it. Okay, so you have a Cadillac Optic, a Lyric, an Escalade IQ, or if you're really well off, a Celestique, which I probably don't have any followers that own one of those. And uh, if I do, please let me know in the comment section because I'd love to drive it at some point. Um, that's not one of the regular cars in GM's fleets that they loan out to uh, lowly influencers like me. Uh, <laughs> but in any event, if you have one of those four electric vehicles and you want to use the Tesla supercharger network, there's a couple things you have to do. First of all, you have to be able to find the chargers. How do you do that? Well, you can do it um, on the in-car navigation, which is one way. So let's take a look at that first. Okay, so let's take a look at how we find Tesla charging stations using Google Maps, which is native to Cadillac electric vehicles. Okay, so first we're going to hit the search bar here, and we're going to click Categories and search for charging stations. Now it's going to show us all the charging stations in this area that uh, would be found using the current filters. So let's take a look at the filter, what it's set at now. It's saying the compatible plugs are just CCS1 combo and J1772. That's the default setting that Cadillac sets in the cars because that's what the native charging port is. They don't know if you have an adapter or not, so they're not going to include the stations where you need an adapter. And this is for charging speeds. Right now it's set out to show 50 kilowatt or faster. I'm going to put it to 150 kilowatt or faster. That won't matter when you search for Tesla superchargers. Okay, but now let's take a look here. Compatible plugs. So it's telling you here, set by the manufacturer is just J1772, which is level two charging. That's at home charging. CCS1 combo. That's the native inlet that the Cadillac has. It's why we need the NAX adapter to charge on a NAX charging station. But you notice here, adapters. It's not checked. So now we're going to check that out there. And now let's go back back. Now you'll notice, um, notice up here in Alamoochee Township, it's not showing any Tesla superchargers. That's because it's still showing the map from before I added the NAX uh, adapter. Now I have to hit search this area and it's going to do it again. You notice this just popped up here. 
They weren't there before. But now that the vehicle knows you have the NAX adapter and you can charge at the stations, it shows you the Tesla superchargers that you can charge at. And this is the one we're going to head up to here, and we're going to uh, demonstrate how to use the adapter. State of Charge is powered by Cumerit. North America's premier installer of electric vehicle charging equipment. After I've helped you decide which charger to buy, follow the link in the description of my videos and have Qmerit install it. And if you do follow that link, Qmerit will waive the $150 installation deposit. But this is an exclusive offer for State of Charge followers. So in order to get that offer, you must follow the link in the description of my videos. And besides the in-car navigation, you could also find the chargers either through the Tesla app or your My Cadillac app. And I would recommend having both apps. If you think you're going to use the Tesla Supercharger Network frequently, um, I like using that in many instances, but th there's other features that the My Cadillac app has. So you might as well download both, in my opinion, and have them both ready to be used. So first, let's take a look at the My Cadillac app and how you set it up to use Tesla Superchargers. Open up your My Cadillac app, and what you first need to do is go to your account, and that would be the top right hand corner of the app, and it says NN because that's the name of the company that does the media loans. Scroll down to public charging, click on that, and you'll see on the top it says Tesla Supercharger with authorized NAX DC adapter is required. So we're going to click on that. Now, I'm not going to click on payment method, but I'm showing you this because you have to have a payment method in your app in order for this to work. If you don't have a way for you to be charged, you won't be able to use the Tesla Supercharger Network. So you have to put your credit card in there. And it also shows you here, look, NAX DC adapter is required. You can click on that order button there if you'd like and order it directly from this app, or you can do that online or at your uh, local Cadillac dealership and get the official NAX adapter. Let's go back to the map to find the stations. There's no Tesla superchargers, but I know there's one right in the middle of that area there. So what I need to do is tell the app to filter in Tesla superchargers because by default they're not in there. So we're gonna click on the filter. You can see down here, these are charge networks. All of the charging networks that use the CCS connector that's on the Cadillac vehicles are all checked, but the Tesla supercharger network isn't because they don't know if you have a NAX adapter. So let's turn that on now. Okay. Now let's go take a look at the app. Oops, see what just popped up there? That green charger. And that is the Alamucci, New Jersey Tesla superchargers where we're gonna head to a little later. So that's how you enter your payment method and add the superchargers into your filter so they show up in your My Cadillac app. And now let's take a look at the Tesla app because quite honestly, I prefer using that. I find it a little bit less clunky than the native apps, particularly all General Motors apps. I think that they're very laggy and slow to load. The Tesla app is so much faster and uh, I just prefer to use it. And it doesn't matter which one you use, you're gonna pay the same price unless you join the Tesla membership and you pay a monthly fee, I think it's $12 and you get discounted charging rates. Only do that if you're gonna use the Tesla network more than once a month. Because if you don't use it more than once a month, that $12 monthly fee doesn't pay off. But if you're going to use it a lot, you drive a lot and you think you're going to use it a lot, it might be worth joining the membership. So let's take a look at the Tesla app now. Okay, so you've downloaded the Tesla app. Let's open that guy up here. And on the top right hand corner, you'll see there's three little bars. You're going to click on that. And now click on charge your other EV because the Cadillac is not a native Tesla vehicle. Now it's going to show all of the Tesla superchargers that will charge CCS vehicles because not all Tesla superchargers will charge CCS vehicles, the Cadillac and other brands. It has to be V3 superchargers or later and it's very difficult for you to know which Tesla supercharger is a V3 or a V2 that's why you need to use these apps because they'll tell you 
which charging stations you can go to. They will not show the ones that your vehicle won't charge at. So here we are here. Now I'm going to click on this red dot here because that's the Alamucci New Jersey supercharger. And it tells you that an adapter is required. Before we head up to the Alamucci supercharger, I want to mention one other type of supercharger, and that's called the Magic Dock supercharger locations. Tesla doesn't have a whole lot of these, but they are out there. And at Magic Dock supercharger locations, you can charge your Cadillac electric vehicle and you don't even need an adapter. When you open up your app, either the Cadillac app or the Tesla app, and you hit on one of the Tesla supercharger locations. As I mentioned earlier, it shows that the NAX adapter is required. On Magic Dock locations, it doesn't say adapter is required. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't say this is a Magic Dock location. You don't need an adapter. It just doesn't say adapter required. And Magic Dock locations will be filtered into either the Tesla app or your Cadillac app because you can charge there. And when you arrive, you don't need an adapter. When you authenticate the charge, which we're gonna get into next when I'm up at the Alamucci supercharger, the NAX adapter is built into the charging station. And when you release the connector, it pulls out and you just plug it into your vehicle. So no adapters required at Tesla Magic Dock locations. You really won't know it's a Magic Dock location until you click on that location and you see that it doesn't say adapter required. Other than that, you need to bring the adapter to the Tesla supercharger stations in order to charge. So let's head up to Alamucci now and see how you do it at a regular Tesla supercharger location. All right, well, I'm here with a 2025 Cadillac Optic, but this instructions would be the same whether you had the Escalade IQ, the Lyric, or you were playing in the high cotton area of the Celestique. Well, let me qualify that statement. How you use the adapter and the apps to start a charging session is the same regardless of which electric Cadillac you drive. But the Cadillac Escalade IQ has a different charge port location. Its charge port is in the left rear of the vehicle. And that's the same location that Tesla vehicles have their charge ports. So the Escalade IQ simply backs into the stall and the charge port is properly located for Tesla's supercharger cable to reach it. For all other Cadillac electric vehicles, it's not that simple. And parking is a little bit more difficult because they all have charge ports on the front left side of the vehicle. And that's important here because Teslas are designed with their charge ports on the rear left side of the vehicle. So they just back into superchargers and the plug just plugs right into their car. Tesla superchargers have a very short cable. Let me show you. If you've been at other DC fast chargers, you'll notice the cables are much longer, more than twice as long and that's because they're designed so that they'll reach any side of the car, no matter where the charge port is, because some EVs have charge ports in the front, like GM's vehicles, in the back, on the other side, so they need to reach everything. The Tesla superchargers were designed for Tesla vehicles, and they all have their charge port on the left rear. So, this is important, and that's why I'm dwelling on this, because you notice, when I pulled in here, I'm taking up two parking spaces. You have to, in order to charge at a Tesla supercharger, unfortunately, you need two spaces next to each other because this parking stall here is for this charger. But I'm not really parked in this parking stall. I'm mostly parked in this stall, but if you notice, I'm over the line. And that's because you, what you need to do is have the front of your vehicle even with the cable of the Tesla supercharger because that's the only way it will reach. You also have to pull all the way up to the supercharger to the point where you almost hit it. You have to get really close. I know this is inconvenient, but if you need to charge at a Tesla supercharger, this is what you have to do because these stations weren't designed and installed to service Cadillac vehicles. You can use them, but you need to do it just right. Okay, so pull with your vehicle lined up to the cable on this side and pull as far up as you can. What you then have to do is get your NAX adapter, open the charge port, 
connect it to the Tesla connector like this and plug it in. You remove the DC cover in your charge port, plug it in. Now, either on the Tesla app or your My Cadillac app, you have to authenticate the charge. You need to turn it on. So what we're gonna do is take a look at how you do that. Both apps actually work just about the same way. You first open the app up, click charge here, and then you have to select the station you're at. All of the stations are numbered on Tesla superchargers. You can see here I'm in station 2B. So you press 2B, and then start charging. It'll say connecting to charger. You'll hear a beep from your vehicle when it starts charging. And that means the vehicle is charging. Now to end the charging session, there's a couple things you could do. You could set the vehicle to a maximum charge setting and it'll shut off when you reach that setting or it'll shut off when you get to 100% if the setting is set to 100%. Most people don't uh, fast charge up to 100% because the vehicle charges a lot slower after it gets to 80%, but that's up to you. Uh, you can either let the vehicle shut itself off or if you wanna end the charge session yourself, you can do it through either of the apps just by pressing stop charging, the charging session will stop. Or you can come outside the vehicle and press the button on the Tesla connector, that will shut off charging. Once you've done that, you can then press the button on the adapter and remove it from the vehicle. But don't press the button on the adapter first. If you wanna stop charging properly from the connector, press the button on the Tesla connector, that will safely shut charging off, then you unlatch the adapter from the vehicle. And that's all you really need to know about charging your Cadillac at a Tesla supercharger station. If this is your first time here at State of Charge, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.